Time like him, playing. The band I play in one leg over, we start our gigs with uh, Stuck in the Middle with you and on the playlist it started so oh, that's a good song to start start this, whatever this is this uh, upsetting the ego um, and having music along with it so if you don't enjoy what I'm saying because hopefully the music is enjoyable what I was going to do, I announced during the week was share what I learned to the flap and I said I'd do it and then I left it and the longer I left it the longer it was on my mind then do it because a lot of the times our ego says do something and then our ego stops us doing it and then it creates us why can you do it why can you do it and with a lot of my social media up until now I haven't done much even like the most I've done was the lead up to the FLA because FLA means festival in Gaelic for all my continental friends and up until that, I was always like, what do I do? It's all, it's not professional, it looks all messy. And now I'm like, well, that's me. I'm more professional, I'm messy. So until I become more professional, less messy, this is as it is. And I kind of feel more comfortable with that. I feel freer because this whole social media world is just a representation of business world of ourselves. So instead of trying to be perfect and trying to compare, I'm just like, I'm just doing me and that's all I can do and with this what did I learn I feel this is something for me and maybe for a future or past me to learn from because there was lessons I wish I'd I'd figured out before the flower even along the way and just by meeting people and doing as I'm doing um, I'm learning and growing and improving so I wanted to share I wanted to share for those who want to watch for those who don't <laughs> yeah I'm not sure how long this will go on. Um, from people that know me, I make a short story long. So I'll try not to make this story too long. Um, but I was just putting down some thoughts and ideas and I just wanna just cover them for those that are interested. I mean, the first one was start sooner. I met a guy, uh, Finton, uh, Finton from Clarion Banjos and his dad started, at his first flower was 30 years ago. So we started, he was, made his first banjo, brought up the fla, and I, this was my first fla, and I was like, jeez, I should have started before, like I've been doing this scene on my, my storyboards, I've been, I started in 2014, I was like, why didn't I go 2014, but I had all these doubts and these fears, and passing on the second one, everybody I talked to, making beautiful instruments, like the best stuff I've ever come across, and they all have these imposter syndrome, because the irony of, what we do with the musical instrument makers is most people aren't professionals at playing the instrument they're making. So all these amazing craftsmen have these doubts and worries of like, oh, will people use, will people like it? And these guys are making phenomenal stuff. So it was something to kind of, to learn for myself and for others is we all have doubts. The best of the best have doubts. Um, I think what the doubts, and I just wrote down this at the end before was action beats ego. And that's what I'm doing here, and that's what I've been doing during the week, just making the stories, because my ego will say, do one thing, then it'll say not do it, and it feeds all these conflicting ideas and thoughts. But at least when you do it, it's out there, and it's something to improve on. Even this, like I like this idea of sharing what I've learned, because I want to learn. I, I want to learn, like the irony of me being on a whiteboard telling people stuff. More than the irony of me being in school, like I hated school. All those... I, I like some parts of it, but so me being in school promoting and doing what I was doing and then me being a whiteboard kind of teaching is very, uh, it's, it's strange, but I want to share. I want to share what I've learned and I want to share what, for myself, because I feel if I share this, then it, it, it redoubles on me. Um, music is beautiful. Sharing music is a gift. Like it's something that I've realized I am very fortunate, very lucky and grateful to be involved in. Because just seeing the smiling faces, the happy faces, the connections I make with people through music, people that I know I will meet again and again and have just this, this amazing rapport. And music has always been something magical for me. And it's been something I love to share. And just being around it this week, I was like, it touched my soul. Like I was playing with kids. There was a lot of little kids coming through and they hear the drum and they see the drum and they're like, what is this? Can we play it? I'm like, yes, let's make noise. So we had little drum circles of these kids just making up beats and playing and all smiling and happy and saying this is amazing and them saying that made me feel so good and it's it's not you shouldn't need others to feel good 
But I don't know, when you connect with children and music, it just, it has something that confirms. And that's what it was doing for me, it was confirming, okay, I've made the right decisions and I'm glad. And so playing music, that's what I want with people with the Mitchell drum or any instrument. Percussion for me is a start, like the shaker or something like that. Get involved, play anything, sing, dance. It's like experience is one thing to watch it, but to actually be playing it and involved in it is a whole different world of experiences. And that was the reason I made the Mitchell drum. Like I love playing the guitar and singing, but I was never good enough playing with others. So the Mitchell drum was my way of playing with others and just having the crack. And so that was the other side. Um, and that leads into, yeah, people then kept telling me, oh, you've created something special. And that really was really nice to hear because even though the last week, it was something I, 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 I have embodied for me a long time. Like I'm doing this 10 years and it's only taken me recently like, okay, I'm proud of what I've done. I'm proud of myself and I'm proud of what I've created. And it shouldn't take others to tell us this for us to, to feel this and know this, but yes, it does. Sometimes it does. Sometimes until we can get through that blockage, we can release that, that chain that we need others, um, opinions of us, we need others validation. And so the amount of people, and it was so nice because I felt that it was genuine. Like they were like, you've created something special. Like you should be proud. And I was like, I am proud. And but thank you. Because it's nice to hear. Like it's nice to hear when people are doing good or looking good or doing something positive. And like, we should share more of this. Like I try and tell people when they're doing something, yeah, you're doing amazing. And so it was nice to hear. And I feel, I feel good in that too. Um, follow your passion. Uh, Something I started doing when I started this 10 years ago, I was at the crossroads of life. I was like, what do I do? I'm a carpenter, I build houses, that was my thing. But I love music and I was like, I want to do something, something else. And books I was reading, one of the things was find something that you'd love to do even if money wasn't an issue. And I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what that was. And then I was doing volunteer work. I built a house in the Philippines. And I started a music school, building cajones, playing, teaching guitar, and I was building cajones. And I was like, this, I like this. This is something. This is something I, I feel I could do every day without, um, without stress. And it was. And then I started following the money, and then it got stressful. And then I got back to making stuff. And for everybody that I met, like all the guys that I met, and the, the makers, they were the same. They just followed their passion. A lot of them ended up losing their jobs during a session, so they were like, right, I have to figure something else out, and they ended up making musical instruments. Now these guys are making world-class instruments played by the best musicians all over the world. Um, sorry if I'm speaking too fast from my far friends. There won't be subtitles on this video because that's just going to take a lot of effort that I'm not willing to put in. Um, my parents are now helping me sell, which blew my mind away the other night I came home. And I was talking to my dad, and my dad was saying, because they came down, my whole family were down the flat, um, not helping me, but just, well, they kind of were. Uh, my nieces and nephews were helping me arrange stuff and sell stuff, it was actually very cute. Um, but my dad, like, and my parents would be very reserved and quiet, but they'd be, they'd be, they're, they're kind of proud in their own way too. And my dad said that he's seen a few dancers, Irish dancers, uh, on the street dancing on a bit of plywood, and he went up to them afterwards, and he said, oh, you should get yourself a dance platform. My son makes them and he didn't see just kind of came out and that shocked me because like I feel now they see what I'm making has has something has a place uh, that made me feel really good because yeah I want my parents to be proud of what I'm doing so um, that really yeah that really touched me um, don't overthink hence this video these videos social media life in general we overthink our ego gets in the way, we don't act. And then like this social media world, I'm like, what do I do? I have no idea. I'm not a social media expert. I'm not a content creator. I make stuff. And I didn't do social media for ages. And then a lot of people are like, oh, you still in business. I'm like, yeah, but I just don't have, I think social media, a lot of everything we do is just act. And I chatted to a lot of people that were in the business at the FLA and they don't do social media because they're like, I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I don't either. I'm just throwing videos up. And that's what I've been doing now. Like you're, you're kind of following my story and that's something that I'm happy with. Like this is, I'm just doing me. And it just happens to be, I'm doing me in a business that makes instruments. And overthinking kills. We always try to be perfect. There's no thing as perfection. 
It's just about trying every day. Uh, there's a term, uh, Kaizen, it's a Japanese Chinese term and it means 1% improvement. So if my next video I can be 1% better, whether it's better sound, better lighting, better whatever, subtitles, little things, little things every day, just do, 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 and yeah, in five years time, 10 years time, who knows, as, a, as I hope, there will be a factory like this, but 10 times, and I believe it will. Um, you don't need to be an expert, which goes back to follow your passion. All the guys that I met that were making, none of them were experts at the, at the instrument. They were all just, they liked making the instrument, and they found one customer, then two customers, and now this guy makes harps. He's had a thousand sales, and like, harps are expensive, but they're gorgeous. And he's not, a, he's not an expert harp player, but he's an expert carpenter joiner now maker of harps. And our society, this illusion of expertise, there's always going to be so many more experts. So just try, improve, try, improve, and find other experts. And for me, it was the same, like I'm, I'm not a drummer, I'm not a dancer. But yet I make drums and dance floors and that is something yet yeah, I'm actually going to do as well. I had them both separate. I had my drum on one page and my dancing on the other. And now I'm just going to merge the two. So for those that are in the drumming and the dancing, you're going to see a lot more of, the, of different content because I actually love to dance. So I am going taking lessons on shadows dancing, which is an Irish style of dancing, which is more like tap dancing, more freestyle. And then I'll see from there. Like I want to do tap, I do love to dance. so. It is something that I don't have to be an expert to make the stuff that I feel. And it's meeting then the experts and getting their feedback. Um, so don't let expertise get in the way. Just start, just do, just create. Um, talk to everybody. Talk to everybody, ask questions, talk. Find out what they've learned. Like as I said, I met most of the makers and I hoped to make videos with them, but just time didn't suit. I will do it again. But I want to, I made the makers and just getting their story, finding out how they got into it, like what they learn, what they're doing, and that was what I mean. Like some of them started 30 years ago and they didn't know what they were doing, but they just started. And talking to everybody, there's that experience, that knowledge that will never be possible on your own in a workspace. Like you have to meet people and people are lovely, people are incredible. Like again, I need to write that down. People are amazing. Do I have it wrote down? I don't have it wrote down. People are amazing. Because um, they are, like the amount of people I met that were so informative, just encouraging, like guy stopped me, he was like, okay, write this down, you need to go look at this magazine, you need to talk to these people, you need to look at this competition, just sharing their wealth of knowledge, I suppose because I was there doing me, and they're like, okay, you're doing, here's help. And I feel that's what the universe we live in. That was the sign here, like if you devote your time and attention to the highest advantage of others, the universe will support you always and only in the nick of time. And we don't know how that support or help will come. Sometimes it's through money, sometimes it's through person, sometimes it's just through the most random act that um, yeah, life gives. And we, we have to just talk and approach and be nice. Don't be a dick, be nice, like if, if that's life. Um, look for ways to improve. Always look for ways to get better. That's what I was saying, Kaizen again, back to one of the times I was earlier. 1% improvements. Like in this social media, I will try and improve, but I, I will improve by doing. And I'm not gonna, as I used to do before, try and make videos from different angles and then chop it together and then make it and then spend hours and never do another one for another six months because it's taken me a week to make it and it gets 100 views. I'm like, no, I don't have that. That's not the place I'm at now. In time, if I have people and help doing all these angry videos, but right now it's it's keeping it simple. Maybe that should be up there as well. Keep it simple. Is that there? Keep it simple. Um, you probably will notice spelling mistakes. My spelling is atrocious. But anyway, um, things take time. Things take time. Again, back to the guy that started 30 years ago. Like I've been doing this 10 years. And it's part of me that's like, is it taking too long? Is it not? And everything takes time. It's a patient game. Life, we have time. It's the only, it's our main commodity. Money, all these things come and go. Time is our true essence. And giving time to something you love is, is life, is love. And things take time. Like we live in this Hollywood world of oh, overnight success. Nonsense, no overnight success. Most overnight success have 10 years of experience. So start today, find something you love to do do it 
meet people, make it, try it, mistakes. There's a, there's a beautiful quote from Samuel Beckett. Um, ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail eventually. Try. Um, enjoy every moment. Enjoy it. Like when I was here last week and I was thinking, oh, what I have happen if I get sales or business doesn't go well or people don't like it? And there was really the realization was, well, I enjoy, I enjoy every moment of it. I enjoy the building up. I enjoy this, the randomness of standing at a whiteboard, talking to a phone, going to share it on Instagram and YouTube and being like, just enjoy it. There is a lot to be said. People enjoy it if you enjoy it. And before, I don't know, I, I think I was too, I was hard on myself. There was a lot of ego. There was a lot of not doing because overthinking. And now I'm just like, fuck it. I'm just going to do and just see. And uh, the more I do, the more I enjoy, the more I enjoy it's reciprocated. So I don't know what that means with the universe. But anyway, um, all of a show up. Always show up. Don't every day, a little bit every day. Kaizen, there's consistency. Like for me, I think if I was to, and I want to see how my, because I've 2014 to 2017 in my story from 2007 to 24, I would have to work back and see how my year as well. But I didn't always show up. Didn't always show up, and that stops the process of time. And we are the only ones that can. Like we can't rely on others to show up if we don't show up. And I've shown up a lot and I think this week I showed up well, um, but there's other times I didn't and I feel like showing up and giving your best self is the key, the key to all this journey and yeah, I'm proud of myself for showing up and like, cause I did, like the last two weeks I started 10 a.m., finished at 1 a.m., um, did that for seven days and then the same with the flat, I stayed, came early, stayed late and that was kind of the last one because you have to, like it's, it's not a have to, um, but if you... As a man said, if you find what you love to do, you'll never work a day in your life. So find what you love to do, and that means starting early and finishing late when the time is needed. Of course, we need to take breaks, we need to take holidays, we need to do all that stuff too, but um, one of the best sessions I had, I'm hoping to have a, a video of it, I stayed at the very end, like the, the whole aim was to stay 8 o'clock every day, I stayed at 8 o'clock every day. And the last day I stayed, two guys came up, showed up, a banjo player and a guitar player, and they were like, is there anybody else here? And I was like, no, I'm the last guy. So I was like, well, you have instruments, let's have a jam. Incredible, incredible, incredible. And we've got videos of it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to sharing the videos. Just the two guys, incredible musicians, lovely guys. And if I didn't stay to the end, I would have missed that opportunity. And you don't know, you don't know the opportunities you're gonna miss if you don't show up and if you don't stay and don't start on time. So yeah, stay till the end, like the parties will come then you can go to the pub, you can dance, you can do all that stuff after, but do the work first. Um, have the crack. Always have the crack. The crack in Ireland, for anybody that doesn't know the crack, research the crack. The crack is have fun. Have fun all the time, even if it's not fun. As I know, you've seen a video of me last night throwing in the turf. We had the ball yesterday bringing home the turf. Turf is not much crack, but you still have to find the crack. Find the fun in anything. And... If you're having the crack, other people will have the crack, and it's it's a, it's infectious. You can share it, and you can then have crack with others. And like I think I love Irish people. Like Irish people, having the crack is one of our key key facets of life. So always be looking to have the crack, and please use that phrase for anybody that doesn't use it. We have a uh, terms in Ireland. So what's the crack? It's pretty much what's the fun. So what's hello? What's the crack? As we're searching for the crack, it's like so, and then a person is good crack. So if your person is fun, if you know people, they're good crack. So what's the crack, your good crack, are generally terms that you will, it's terms of endearment. So recommend sharing them and using them. Um, give yourself time to prepare. Give yourself time. I didn't give myself enough time. In a way, I kind of give myself two time because I end up building too much stuff, but that's going to give me time to prepare for Portugal as I'm moving to in a few weeks. But give yourself time. Give yourself like work in advance. Like for me now, I'm starting to work towards Christmas. So that's my next phase of, of work. And from there, after that, I'll be looking in the seasons. Okay, what's in January? So I'll be giving myself time to, so I don't have to work till one o'clock. I don't want to work till one o'clock. That's not what I'm doing with this. So as I'm saying work, be organized, give yourself time so you don't have to work stupid hours. That's just lessons learned that I'm like, okay, I've learned, figure it out. Um, action beats ego. That's something that, even now, 
I was doing computer stuff and I was I was uh, working on my website and social media. Coffee is key. Um, sometimes. Um, I'd said about doing this and I wrote this earlier, maybe yesterday. And my ego, my head, my brain, all that noise was like, oh, do it later. Oh, how's it going to be done? Do it tomorrow. Oh, the light's not good. This, this, this. And I, I could feel that action slipping, slipping away from getting done to never getting done. And I know if I never did it, it'd eat at me. So it'd annoy me because it's, it's not about how good or bad it is. It's just the doing of it. And even doing this now, I'm like, okay, I could see, I can see something like this again in the future that I'm learning from and, and sharing my story. Like this is me just sharing my story to talk to other people and find out their story. So this is just a knock on effect to something else. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be something. And action beats ego all the time. Because the ego can't really berate you too much, even if you've done it. Like there's an interesting thing with ego that even if we do something and it doesn't work, it doesn't hound us as much with the regret of something that happened than with the regret of not doing. I don't know if you've ever found that, but I know of myself and I've done some stupid stuff. But I don't regret too much the stupid stuff. It's weird, but I regret, there's a lot of times I regret not doing the stuff. But I'm like, oh, why didn't I try that? Why didn't I do that? Why didn't I go to that person and say hello? Why didn't I make that introduction? And by doing, the ego shuts up. It's this weird, I don't understand it, but that's what I'm figuring. And finally, yeah, people are amazing. People are amazing. It, it warmed my soul, spending time with amazing people at the FLA. And it's what I wanted more in my life. Like, it's why. I'm moving to where I'm moving to because I'm a bit isolated in Ireland to where I am. So I'm moving to Portugal, back to Portugal to reconnect with people and build my community there. But I love Ireland. Like I love the community here. I love the music community here. And I'm going to be back here next summer again. And I want to continue this. I want to grow this. So anybody who wants to get involved, I need lots of help. So people that have no website, no sales, no marketing, people that have contacts in the industry that want to make videos playing drums dancing please contact me communicate because i want to share this and grow this and i want to build this with people i want to do this with people i don't want this done in somewhere else by other people i want to do it by me with people that i meet and connect with because i love people people are incredible they're i'm getting emotional um they're kind they're beautiful they're fun like doing this these things together this is why we're here is to share these experiences and do these experiences together and the people I met at the FLA and through music and just like amazing amazing people and they're amazing people everywhere amazing people all over the world and music is a way to connect us together and I want to be part of that I want to encourage that and support that and yeah I love people and I love you all thank you all for the time to watch this if you want to start it or not and please comment below your favorite point or points that i didn't put in that you think i might have learned you're like well we weren't there what did you learn some of you might have seen the video seen the stories are things that like i'm constantly trying to learn like i'm as much as i dislike school every day is like a school day now so please share please comment please like um yeah if any people want to get involved or buy instruments. I have amazing instruments to sell as well. So if you know anybody within your life that is a musician or dancer and you want to share the stuff with them, please do. All help will be appreciated. And yeah, I can then continue what I'm doing and employ other people. Like that's part of the plan is to teach other people how to build instruments. That's my plan is to move to Portugal, get a house, get a workshop, build instruments there and expand. So thank you all for watching. Thank you all for, yeah, being amazing and have a great evening. Ciao.